Hi, my name is Scott Gardner. I'm with the City of Royal Oak Fire Department. I'm a fire inspector and wanted to show you our new truck. So this is the Rosenbauer Avenger that we picked out. Uh, we really were drawn to it because of the, the different styling and one of the key characteristics that we liked about it was the interior cab room. This is the 70 inch cab, so it uh, provides us with a lot of room inside. This is one of three that we're purchasing. We're replacing our older E1 Typhoons and uh, we made a bunch of upgrades on what we've learned from our previous trucks. So up front, we're gonna have 150 feet of pre-connected that we can use for car fires, garbage uh, dumpster fires, anything else like that. Uh, we've got the laser cut Royal Oak, which flashes, which is always a crowd pleaser. Uh, the other advantage that we like to the Avenger is the single piece windshield that really allows a great field of view for both the driver and the officer. So over in the driver's side, we've got the VMUX system, which is nice because it allows the driver to control multiple systems without sacrificing a ton of real estate on the dashboard. So overall, this truck has seating for five firefighters, driver officers, and three in the back. The other component which is kind of interesting is the interior EMS cabinet. We run a lot of EMS calls and this reduces the amount of time that it takes us to get our equipment out. Our old trucks, they're stored in the body compartment, which means somebody has to come out, open up the body compartment. Now everything's in a more climate controlled area during the winter and it's easy accessible by all the fire crews. So with all the salt and corrosion in Michigan, we decided to go with an enclosed cab or enclosed pump compartment and we've got a 1500 gallon per minute hail pump our two speed lays for our inch and three quarter attack lines both are going to be 200 feet we've got an onboard foam system that will use class a foam we have all the controls for our scene lights here which allows the driver to be able to turn lights on as needed if you're on a longer extended scene without having to go back to the cab. This is our engineer's compartment where we will have all of our uh, appliances and adapters. And the other unique feature is we got rid of the generator. With all of the 12 volt lighting and LED, we really didn't need a generator uh, to take up space. So we have an inverter mounted that runs all of our 120 volt um, outlets and uh, cord reel. Very large, very deep compartment that we can store our high-rise packs, our RIT packs, our tarps, just about anything else that we would need uh, from a fire operation standpoint can go in here. With our trucks, we really designed them to be on the driver's side is set up for fire. So you have your engineer's compartment, we'll have our RIT kit, we'll have uh, high-rise packs, and in the back, We have tool boards with the pack mounts that come out. So at any point in time, if we change the type of tools that we have, want to change the configuration, we don't have to drill into the tool board. We can easily change it in a, uh, a modular sort of way. So it, it's really designed to look five years down the road. As tools change, as our needs change, we can, we can adapt. But this whole side will be all fire related. Now if we go to the back of the truck, so one of the other cool features I like about the truck is the automatic hose bed cover. Gone are the days of trying to wrestle the hose cover that's come off as we're driving down the road. Um, so that's a really neat feature. It also allows us to more safely walk on top to get to the, um, the deck gun and then in the dunnage compartment up there. Back here we have an internal ladder compartment. Keep the ladders out of the weather along with our roof hooks. And then this compartment here is where we will store our vent fan and a separate hydrant bag that we carry, the adapters, spanners, and a hydrant wrench. On top, on each side, we have coffin compartments which really allows us to store equipment that we don't use very often. Our hot stick, rakes, so that is great for stuff that we don't use that often 
and it affords a lot of storage still. So on the officer side of the compartment, or officer side of the truck, we've really set this up for more of a rescue operation. The back here is fitted with a Lazy Susan that will accommodate all of our extrication equipment. Once we get it back, we'll have a high lift jack mounted to the back wall. We'll have our airbags mounted to the side wall. We'll have an air tank for that airbag system already set up and ready to go. And this upper compartment is for our step chocks. We've got our tool board. And what we keep on this tool board, we have our rescue struts and we have a complement of battery powered tools. Our saws will be mounted along the bottom and along the top we'll have lockout tag out kits, extra blades, just about anything else that we would need stored on this top shelf. But it really allows us to maximize the space in here by mounting on both sides of the tool board and having a shelf. This compartment here will carry the chains and accessories for the struts, uh, extra cones, and just miscellaneous lighting. So we'll have some spotlights that we'll keep in here. But this is our you know, third rescue compartment. And this, the other side of the pump house, has our large diameter discharge, our intake, another discharge, and our cord reel. So on behalf of the Royal Oak Fire Department, all of the firefighters, we'd like to thank the city, the mayor, the commissioner, city manager for allowing us to purchase this truck. Tim Easley, our sales rep, for making sure that this is a smooth operation, and everybody here at Rosenbauer. Uh, we really love it and uh, look forward to many years of use with it.